Oh, everybody, and can I just say that God turns everything to good. And so whatever situation you're in at the moment, my prayers and thoughts are with you. But firstly, let's get on to a bit of creativity because God loves creativity and I love creativity. Very basic one, this one here, is about adjusting the temperature of colours. So we have the primaries, we have the red, yellow and blue, and then we've got the secondary colours. So we've got the orange and the violet and the green. Adjusting the colour temperature. So you can see I've got warmer and cooler. So you can see so from warm, which is red, going round to cool. So your green is your coolest and you've got a cool blue and a cool violet and then it starts warming up again. So first of all, get your colours out, get your palettes out and then we'll do a little colour chart. Now notice that it's very messy. These are my colours that I have in my oil palette. And so I put them all out as little discs, just little, you know, with a little brush and your finger, to spread it about. And so I've got all the colours that I usually use as a, a landscape painting composition. And you can see very clearly here how we've got um, cool yellows, which is the lemon yellow here, which is lemon Windsor yellow, and another cool one here. And this is my warm yellow, which is... Um, um, spectrum yellow which is also a cadmium yellow but deep so you can see very clearly how yellows have warmth and coolness and then we've got my reds out here so I've got my carmen I've got my rose madder I've got my cadmium red here cadmium red deep so we've got reds here that are cool more on the purple side and then they start brightening up here and going to uh, uh, the warmth so these are hotter this is the hottest one which is the cadmium red deep then we've got the blues over this side here so I've got my ultramarine which is a very nice bright blue which most people have in their palette and that is a warm but you can then see it cools down here with the use of cobalt blue and then cerulean blue which is quite a cool blue and we've got this green um, sorry this is ultramarine green shade which is quite an advanced colour to use, but when you dilute that down, that gets cooler. So you've got the warm ultramarine, and then you've got the cool ultramarine, but that is quite advanced colour theory. And then over here, we've got fallow blue, just put into the corner here, which is a lovely cool blue, very similar to grey. The violets here, you can see very clearly. See how lovely and warm that is? That's cobalt violet. And then we've got a Windsor Violet here, which is very cool. And that's the same with sort of browns I've been mucking around with here. To our exercise today, our colour mixing exercise here. Now, um, this is a lovely painting which I took from the internet. Um, and I have then reproduced it here. So you're getting a copy of my painting, which I have reproduced. It's colour mixing theory in terms of we're going to copy this in whatever medium you've got, acrylic, watercolour, gouache, whatever um, you would like to do. Um, and we're going to then, you, um, if you're in my class, please send me your images of the work that you've produced so that I can help you. And I, what I suggest you do is, is take a couple of sequence pictures. So when you start out, your first bit of drawing that you do, then two would be then also your preparation background colours. And then three would be your finished finished version. And I will give you um, comments on your progress. So this is my particular painting, which I notice that I've extended the whole picture to have it more as a landscape. So I really increased the size of it. This is done in oils. I'll talk about my colours. And in particular, I'll talk about the whites. Um, so I've started off here with cerulean blue. And I've warmed it up. Um, with a bit of crimson as I've gone through to the horizon. This is cobalt blue that I'm using and cerulean blue. So both quite cool blues. And then we've got the greys, which is a mixture that I did my own mixture of grey, black and white. 
and I've tinted my greys with warmth, so a bit of a bit of red. And um, we've got yellow ochre that I've been using in the sky, and we've got also Naples yellow that I've been using in the sky, which is one of my favourite colours. So I've got the birds as well. So this is all together, it's got a nice combination of interesting colour mixes, which I'd like you to try to achieve. Um, overlaying colours and just generally um, enjoying the whole process of making and being creative. And I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.